Welcome back once again to your YouTuber ENCHU Mate channel. So we have successfully completed the price of flowers in three episodes about the class. Now we go for just uh, answer the read and respond questions on the story the price of flowers. The first question, why was the narrator's attention drawn to the English girl? The English girl had been watching the narrator with interested surprise. But she turned her eyes away as soon as the narrator looked at her. She was 13 or 14 years old. One could guess that she was a poor girl from her dress. She had large eyes which had a sad expression. The second question is, what is your impression of the girl? The girl is a teenager from a poor family. She had large eyes with a sorrowful expression. When she saw the narrator, some ideas came to her mind. Came to. There is a two missing. Please, uh, uh, learners, please insert a two. Came to her mind. And that is why she watches the narrator so closely. Then she tries to inquire whether he is an Indian and why he comes to that particular restaurant all the time. Something about Indians has got into her mind and she is trying to clarify her doubts. She is a polite girl who thanks people even when some service is given to her. Question number three. How do you know that the girl was interested in knowing the identity, identity of the narrator? The girl watched the narrator with an interested surprise. Later she asked the cashier whether the narrator was an Indian and whether he comes to the restaurant every day. Question number four. What do you understand the probable financial condition of the girl? Please, the question is in your textbook. What do you understand? What do you understand? No. What do you understand? D O. What do you understand the probable financial condition of the girl? Let's go for the answer. We can guess from the dress that the girl is wearing. We can guess from the dress the girl is wearing that she is from a poor family. She has large eyes with a sad expression. The waitress says that she comes to the restaurant only on Saturdays for her lunch because Saturday is the payday. On the other days she can afford lunch as she has no money. She is working in a nearby shop maybe for a very small pay. As she is a teenager, nobody would hire her for a big salary. The fifth question, why was the narrator curious? C-U-R-I-O-U, yes, not a D, curious, no, curious. C-U-R-I-O-U, yes, curious. This question is in your textbook. Oh, you yes, curious about the girl. What did he do to meet her? 
the narrator was curious about uh, because she was curious about the narrator the girl asked the cashier if he was an indian and if he came to the restaurant every day from the waitress the narrator had come to know that the girl works in a nearby shop the narrator looked into the shop looked into the shops on the streets near st martin's lane and to the shops on the strand but he couldn't trace her he couldn't find where the girl is then he met her in the same restaurant again on the next saturday during lunch time sixth question why did the narrator go to the restaurant again the narrator went to the restaurant again with the hope of meeting the young english girl he was told by the waitress that the girl visits the restaurant on saturdays for lunch question number 7 what impression did the girl have about india or a symbol the girl thought that india was a dangerous country full of tigers snakes and fevers snakes also is there k e s snakes and fevers this is the impression she got from the people about india question number 8 was maggy satisfied with her job maggy means that english little girl was maggy satisfied with her job if not why maggy was not satisfied with her job which is mechanical one she wanted to have a job to utilize her head and brain she would like to be a secretary question number 9 what do you understand by brain work what do you understand by brain work brain work means the one which needs some thinking we in india often call brain workers white collar jobs the last two question for today is why does maggie ask the narrator whether he was a vegetarian because the girl wanted to find out if narrator was yogi she had heard that yogis are vegetarians and do not eat meat do not eat please there is eat to be seen do not eat e a t you must add that one eat meat yogis have occult occult means magical powers that is why she wanted to know whether the narrator was a vegetarian or was a yogi and the yogis uh, uh, are vegetarians and do not eat meat and yogis have occult or magical powers the balance uh, read and respond questions will be added in the next episode please try to be in, the, in touch with the uh, enc educate share to your friends ask them to subscribe and watch and systematically uh, take down uh, notes and uh, watch all the class and you will be able to score a plus or 80 out of 80 wish you all the best thank you